Hi friends, thanks for coming back to my channel. This week we're focusing on opening up through the throat chakra, which is our communication center. So on a more subtle level, this will help us to express our truth and be authentic to ourselves. On a more physical level, this will help to alleviate tension in the neck, shoulders, and upper chest from sitting in your desk all day, typing and texting, that kind of thing. All right, so let's get started. Just come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. And let's take the Vishuddha Chakra Mudra, which is interlaced fingers with your thumb pads pressing together. Now just let your hands rest comfortably in your lap and close down your eyes. Take a few slow, deep breaths here to begin. The Chuta Chakra is associated with the color light blue, so if it feels aligned to bring that color into your mind's eye, by all means do so. And let's begin with a few head rolls. So just start to drop your ear towards your shoulder, head falls back, and rolls forward. Doesn't matter which direction you start with, just make your head rolls work for you. Try not to use your shoulders so much. Just let the head go. Okay, finish out your last circle. And then exhale to switch directions. Finish out your last circle and bring your head back to neutral. You can leave your eyes closed down for now. Take your right hand up and over your head to the top of your left ear, and then gently pull your right ear down towards your right shoulder, keeping your face parallel to your screen or to whatever is in front of you. Chin is slightly up. Stretching your SCM, sternocleomastoid muscles in the neck, the scalenes. Drop your left shoulder. Good. Now we'll do this little sprinkler-like effect. So you're on your inhale here with this elbow fanned out to the side. Now exhale, hug your elbow in and try to bring your chin towards your left collarbone. Now inhale to fan out and exhale to hug in. Inhale, fan out. Exhale, hug in. One more. Inhale, fan out. Exhale, hug in. Good. Now leave your head here. Release your right hand down. Swivel your head through the center and take the left ear towards your left shoulder moving into the other side. Left hand finds the top of your right ear, and you gently pull your head down. Mm. Slow, deep breath. Take a big inhale here, and exhale. Come into that little sprinkler effect, chin towards your right collarbone, elbow hugs in. Inhale, fan out. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, fan out. Exhale, hug in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Good, now come into that inhale position with the elbow fanned out, and then release your left hand down. Let your head fall back between the bridge of your shoulder blades, and let your throat open to the sky. Now leave your throat open like this. Take your hands back behind you, and lower to flat palms. Then drop your elbows down, maybe one at a time, maybe both at the same time. Press the soles of your feet into the mat with your knees facing up and let your head rest on the bridge of the shoulders. 
cap your shoulders forward and try to lift tall through your chest. Pump your chest up towards the sky. For three, two, and one. Your head stays back. Walk your feet just a bit more forward and inhale, rise up onto your palms again. From here, lift your hips into reverse table. You've not brought your chin to your chest yet. Try to flatten your belly out to the ceiling like you could rest a little dinner plate on your core. For three, two, one. Let's drop your hips down. Bring your head back to neutral. Draw your knees in. Crawl over your legs and come into a tabletop shape. We'll do a little water grove here. So I like to walk my hands a little closer to my knees so the shoulders are past the wrist. Now drop your chest and chin down. I'm gonna move my mic into water grove here. So it's almost like puppy, but you've got your hands in chaturanga position. And just hang out here for a moment, maybe close down your eyes. Now from here, turn your toes under and see if you can push to straight legs. You're on the balls of your feet. Hands can stay like this or you might sweep your hands back. Even interlacing the fingers is an option. for two and one. Sliver down onto your belly like a little snake and let your hands rest down next to your sides. Now turn your left ear to the mat and rest here for three. Two. And one. Turn your right ear down, switching sides. For three, two, one. Now on your inhale, bring your chin back to the floor. Slide your hands into a chaturanga position. And then you're gonna push yourself into upward facing dog. Once you get here, arch your spine, open your throat, and drop your head back. And then exhale into child's pose. Roll over your knees. Let your arms come out in front of you and your third eye to the floor. Good, last little bit here. So leave your head down. Start to lift your hips up. I can't figure out the mic situation today. And then take your hands back towards your heels and just start to rock on the crown of your head. Forward and back. And forward and back. And if this is pretty easy, walk your head closer to your knees. For five, four, three, two, one. Good, now on your inhale, let's rise all the way up onto your shins, reach your arms over your head. 
And then exhale, take your hands to your low back, send your hips forward, arch through your spine, and let your head fall towards your shoulders. We have not done hardly any back bending besides that water grove, so be kind to yourself, and only if you feel ready will you slide your hands down to your heels for full camel. For three, two, one. Make your way back up nice and easy. And exhale, sit to your heels, bring your hands together at heart center. And let's take three deep breaths to close our practice down. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. Namaste.